normal person thinks of time. They think of minutes, seconds, days, months, years. But geologic time is much, much longer than that. Unfathomably long amounts of time between the different sections. The Earth began 4.6 billion years. Not million, billions. We measure the first large portion of, of the Earth's um, lifetime. We call it Precambrian time. Not a lot was going on. The Earth was forming. A lot of stuff was mixing around. What we know today is plates were just beginning to form as continental shields. And there weren't many fossils because, hey, the Earth just started. Jump forward about 4 billion years and we reach the Paleozoic Era. The first division, which is Cambrian time. This is the first amount of time when life was able to be sustained because we just got into our oxygen-rich state. The common animals were trilobites and brachiopods and shelled marine invertebrates and very early forms of life. The next period we jump into is the Ordovician time. This is the time when the echinoderms were just coming around. The amount of brachiopods uh, numbers went up while the trilobites went down. As we progress into the Silurian period, land plants and animals finally started coming around. It wasn't just ocean life anymore. 416 million years ago is when more recognizable um, animals were coming around, like the age of fishes that just started in the Devonian period. Other creatures that came around are amphibians and and more plants like ferns were coming around too, more seed-bearing plants. The next period is the Carboniferous period, which is divided up into two different epochs. The first epoch is was the Mississippian period, which is very aptly named because forests and swamps were, come, were covered most of the earth, and amphibians flourished there. Many of them came around and populated the earth. The next epoch inside of the Carboniferous period is the Pennsylvanian period. This is also the time that reptiles came around, although long before dinosaurs. Also notable in this period is the coal deposits that finally began to form, though long after fossils. The final period in the Paleozoic era, Permian period, is when Pangaea, the uh, supercontinent, finally formed. Also, this is the first mass extinction the Earth had seen. All was not lost as the Mesozoic era began beginning with the Triassic period, which is of course when the d dinosaurs started roaming the Earth. This is also when mammals began to appear on the Earth. The middle period in the Mesozoic era is a, is a very recognizable one, the Jurassic era, just like Jurassic Park was named after. This is when dinosaurs were very, very common. They were the dominant life form. They, the very The final period in the Mesozoic era was the Cretaceous period. Birds as we know them today, and plants that included flowers, and of course, like the last, Pale like the Paleozoic era, this is another mass extinction occurred, wiping out the dinosaurs and most species on. And um, we've now reached the Cenozoic era, which is when the age of mammals began, only about 65 million years ago. The Paleocene epoch inside the tertiary period, also is known for when the first primates, monkeys, only 10 million years later in the Eocene epoch, horses began to appear. So flying squirrels, bats, and whales. The Oligocene epoch marked the time wolves and raccoons followed in the Miocene. The Pliocene Epoch had lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. The Quaternary Period and its first epoch, the Pleistocene, is when humans, us, you and me, came around. Also woolly mammoths and rhinos. And finally we reach the Holocene Era, which is when the end, which only roughly 11,500 years ago. It also marked when the glacier, the glacial period finally ended, and complex human societies 
not as advanced, of course, as the ones we see today, but closely resembling them, starting to show up. And that concludes our view. Thanks for watching. I hope you are now well informed about the geologic timescale and the entire lifetime of the Earth.